hello guys welcome once again in the last video I have shown you how to use JList in your uh, Eclipse GUI application in this video I'm going to show you how you can link your JList with the database values and show it in your GUI so uh, we have been developing this uh, small little project and in here I'm going to add a JList and I will just select the JList and make a square here. So to make a JList in your form, you need to have this square. Okay. Now once you have this JList in here, what you need to do is you can resize your JList according to your uh, requirement. So for example, I want to show the names, all the names in my database table column. I want to show this in the JList. How can I do this? It's easy. So I want to uh, load this, uh, these names from the database whenever my form loads. So as soon as my form loads, I want to see this, these uh, values directly as we have seen in the case of jtable or these these uh, combo box okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my source and i will go to the top above my constructor of uh, my class as you know the constructor has the same name as your class so this and this should match so i will go uh, just above my constructor and I will make a public method so I will write public void load list okay and it will take no arguments and the method definition and in here we are going to write the code so I will just copy my sample code from anywhere and till now you must have uh, you know you must remember this that how I am connecting to the database and how I am preparing the queries so in this first line what I make is I make the query and in the second line I make the prepared statement and I pass this query to the connection using prepared statement and in the third line I execute this query pst.execute query and pass the result in this result set and I go through the result set in a while loop right this I will remove for now and then I need to close this so pst pst dot close just remember if I also don't uh, tell you that you need to close it you just always remember this whenever you create your uh, prepared statement just don't uh, forget to close this prepared statement and your uh, result set okay so always remember this even uh, though in the tutorial in some of the tutorial I forget to write these two lines but always remember that you need to close these things okay so now we need to load our uh, list with the names right so for that we need to define our default model as we have seen in the last video so I will just uh, below the declaration of this result set I will define a default uh, list model right default list model and this will be like this DLM def for default list model is equal to new uh, default list model and this will not take a list but only an, an argument and then in the while loop when I have the result I can use this object default list model to add elements so I can say DLM dot add elements and what element I need to add whatever I get in the result so I use this result set object dot get 
string get string and in here as an argument of get string I will pass the name of my column so I want to populate the name column values right so I will just write name as an argument for get string double quotes name okay now you have this method but you are not using this method anywhere so just copy this method and go to the constructor as you know constructor has the same name and go to the end of the constructor so this is the starting curly brace go to the end of the constructor in here my constructor ends so just above the end of the constructor just paste this method and why we are doing this because constructor is the first method which is executed whenever you call a class right so whenever we call this class the constructor will be executed and then this function will also be executed and then our values will also be loaded okay so run the program and I don't see anything yes I know why so I will just go to my method once again and I forgot to set this model to the list I'm not setting anywhere this model to some list so just copy the name of your list whatever is the name of your list I select the list and I name it as list name okay so just copy the name of the list go to the source and in your load list method you need to populate this so we have this load list method and we have created the default list model but we were not uh, transferring this model to the list so just copy the name of your list dot so if this list is not recognized and it will show you an error that means your list is local inside your constructor so search for the list wherever you have this list and make it global and I think you know how to make the list global so just copy this here the de list declaration and delete this JList from here so and leave this name as default and go at the top of your class when, wherever your class starts my class starts here and just below this you need to declare this list like this as a private member right private member okay so now your list becomes global if you see this blue then list is global just check once again that this becomes blue also okay so now you have your list and then you can just go to your method list name dot set model okay set model and our model is DLM right model is DLM so once again I will run the program and you see, see the values in here right in the list so you have successfully populated all the values which are there in the column inside the list you can even populate employee ID column values or surname column values or age column values in the list and the procedure will be same just you need to change this column name from here okay so I hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now